making the students into great attorneys is definitely the goal for all of us. And while we, as a faculty, all approach it from our unique um, positions of emphasis, that's um, every time we sit down and discuss the curriculum, course design, um, how we're teaching, that's the end goal for the students is to produce great practice-ready attorneys who can go out there and do some real good in the community. My classes are tough. Uh, there, there's, a, there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of reading to prepare for the classes, but they're extremely fascinating. The topics are interesting. The conversation is dynamic and uh, the atmosphere is really energetic and so it's, it's a great environment to be in. The first year curriculum with such an emphasis on skills, having um, students have mentors from the day they walk in the door, um, we're definitely more student success focused than any other school I'm aware of. The landscape of legal education nationally is changing more expansively and broadly than ever before. And the reason that I wanted to come to Concordia Law School is because we have this unique opportunity that, to do something different, something that's more progressive and responsive to the market. Well, our students are really fortunate because they have an opportunity to work very closely with the faculty and administration to help shape what we're doing here both inside and outside the classroom. People have a strong commitment to um, living their life in a way that's both professional and personal, combining those two things. It's a quality of life that you can't find in a lot of other places. And uh, I think that same um, attitude is one that our students bring with them in here. So uh, a lot of intensity in the classroom, a lot of intensity in terms of gaining those professional skills. You know, it's, it offers the part-time program. It couples, you know, great with my professional career as a felony probation and parole officer. Um, I've always had the goal of becoming an attorney. I've lived here in Boise for the last, you know, 10 plus years. Um, so it just, it just really seemed like the right fit at the right time for me. So we have an incredible faculty who's really engaged in supporting students in the classroom, helping them to be academically successful. In my role as the Director of Student Affairs, I'm really um, focused on what's the other part of being successful? What are the personal and professional competencies that students are going to need to be um, successful out in the workplace? One of the things that really appealed to me about Concordia was the affordability. Um, Concordia is about $10,000 cheaper than the average private school. Um, and in addition to that, they are pretty generous with their merit scholarships and their institutional grants. Um, overall, I thought that Concordia was a great value, especially given the professional opportunities that arise from going to a school in an urban setting like Boise um, with the Legacy Mentorship Program. So I definitely felt that Concordia was the best value. You know, at the end of the day, I go home, I put on my tennis shoes, and in five minutes I'm up in the foothills hiking. Um, at lunch, if I need a break, I can walk two blocks and be on the green belt. Um, I can go to football games, I can go to Broadway shows, I can float the river in the summer, I can snowshoe half an afternoon in the weekend, and it's, um, it's just a fun, vibrant city with a lot to offer. So much to do in Boise. There's great access to outdoor uh, activities. You can hike in the summer, you can ski up at Bogus in the winter. Um, the Saturday market downtown Boise is great. Um, there's concerts. It's, it's a big enough city to still get the urban experience, but it's small enough to still have that sort of small town feel. Um, there are great restaurants, great places to shop. Um, Boise is a great place to live. I think it also helps when we talk about work-life balance and um, staying true to who you are and bringing your unique aspect into what you want to do when you practice law. And um, my students know that I value the work-life balance because I try to have it.